Hi everybody, uh, this is Phoenix, and uh, today is the end of day one, <laughs> for the most part, of, um, of the launch of This My Tribe. Um, I don't look very pretty, so not making an apology. This is kind of what it takes when you're launching a website. Um, it's been a bit uh, daunting, to be honest with you. Um, I've actually launched a website before, and um, two, in fact, and um, it's probably no less stressful. Um, but for this one, um, it was a little, a little crazy. Um, a lot of glitches, as many of you know, and uh, just trying to do the best that I can uh, with my limited coding knowledge. <laughs> so I think I got it, uh, got it under control. Um, but uh, the reason I'm making this video is I just really want um, people, not necessarily executive assistants, but actually especially executive assistants, to know that um, there are options. Um, one of the things that always keeps coming up um, in conversations that I have is what's next for EAs? Like, what do we what do we do next? Like, once you're, for instance, the executive assistant to the CEO, what's the next step? And the original answer used to be, oh, chief of staff. But as most of you know, um, especially if you're already on the platform, um, Chief of Staff has a different connotation to me than it does maybe the rest of you. Um, it's an incredibly operational position and one that requires a lot of education and a lot of business acumen and actual experience. And I, I always call it the mini-me of the CEO. And in my opinion, that's exactly what it is. And as much as I love executive assistants to believe that they can be the CEO's mini-me, um, please know that there is a lot of work <laughs> that goes into being a CEO of a multi-million dollar company or even multi-billion dollar company. So I don't want um, executive assistants to get deluded into thinking that, um, that that's actually the next step. So not saying that it can't happen, and I do actually am friends with several um, chiefs of staff who are ex-executive assistants. And they're they're banging it out. I mean, they're they're amazing. But you know, of those, most of them have actually had advanced degrees and have been in business for quite a while, and and have that thing. I don't know how else to put it. So um, for me, um, I, in all honesty, I don't really want to be anybody's chief of staff. I'm good. <laughs> I've enjoyed being an executive assistant to C-suiteers and mainly CEOs for the the majority of my career, and. I find that there is quite enough to keep me busy um, doing just that. So, but uh, I tend to also be one who gets bored very easily, and that's evidenced in my ability to do many, many other things aside being an executive assistant. Um, and I've decided now that I'm jumping ship and I'm doing this full time. I'm here to help executive assistants really level up their game and get to the point hopefully where I got to and even beyond and do it in the fastest time possible. And with this, my tribe, I'm hoping to do that. I really want us to feel that we can kill it in position, but there are other options out there. Um, I, I want all of us to know that we're special beings, man. I don't know else to put it. <laughs> Not many people can do all that we do. Um, in the space of a day or in the space of a week, a month, a year. It's, it's an incredible, incredibly complex job that gets half the credit, if that, that it deserves. And um, I really, I want to be one of those that's sort of out there banging on the door and kicking the door in if necessary and saying, hey, we matter. And hey, don't take us for granted. A lot of us are here to to not just help, not just to assist, but to to kill it just as much as you want to kill it on a daily basis. I've supported, luckily, some amazing CEOs, including my last one, who anytime someone said no, he was like, Psh, middle finger, middle finger, you know, watch me. And I love that. And I really want other executives to know that that's exactly what um, most executive assistants are there for. The exact same thing, the exact same passion and the same fire. But when you don't give executive assistants the wings and the autonomy 
and the respect and the support to do exactly what you're doing, then you can expect that there are going to be, you know, issues with communication, issues with expectation, etc. So, you know, maybe this is a, a call out to CEOs out there. Really pay attention. Realize that the person that you hired is not just the person you hired on paper. They're actual human beings who show up every single day, regardless of how you treat them, and want to do more and want to do better. And it's your responsibility in some way, shape, or form to give them the opportunity to do that and to give them a little bit of coaching and a little bit of tutelage and a little bit of a nudge to get out of the comfort zone. That's part of being an amazing leader. And for executive assistants that are out there, you know, sometimes you have to demand those opportunities. Sometimes you have to leave companies when you consistently don't get those opportunities. And sometimes you start your own business when you get sick of it all. <laughs> so, so welcome to this, my tribe. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video and, and kind of put that out there. Um, we all really show up every day just, just to be better, just to do more, just to experience life and the professional side of life especially since we spend so many hours at work every day. The last thing we want to do is be bored, and the last thing we want to do is be disrespected, and the last thing we want to do is just be like cornbread with no flavor. You know what I mean? So help us. Help us help you. And, uh, and we will, I assure you. So thank you guys again. Sorry for the glitches today. I'm tired. I had two hours of sleep last night and to wake up to, you know, 16 emails. WTF, why is this $1,000 when you said 365? Not my fault, I promise. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that was a, a tough morning. But you know what? I wouldn't trade it for the world because every single misstep or every single perceived failure is a learning experience. And that's how I treat it. So thank you again. Um, if you're an EA that's looking for a tribe um, and looking for, you know, some badass people to sort of hang with and sit at their table and, and learn and grow and support one another, then please consider joining this My Tribe. If you're an executive out there who has a C, um, uh, an EA that, that you believe in but maybe just needs a little nudge or just needs some support or some, some tutelage or some mentorship or some coaching, have them join this My Tribe. It's 365 bucks. You know, it's not sending them to Aruba for, for six days. It's, it's really just an opportunity for them to be among their own and to be among some badass people that already basically created the road and will allow those behind them to walk. So thank you again, and I'll see you next time.